Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to draw the respiratory system of human beings, which is an important diagram. And let's get started. Firstly, to draw the epiglottis and the larynx, I am drawing a paperboard shape. Then, followed by that, to draw the trachea, use a pattern of lines and curve shapes. The curves is going to be C shapes on the left side and the mirror image of C on the right right side. Then, after drawing them, join the curves as I am doing in the video. So this completes our trachea part. After this, we should be giving two branches to the trachea, which leads to the lungs. So even these two branches will be containing these curves and lines. Do as I am doing in the video. It will be too easy for you guys. Now after completing the branches, you should be drawing the heart. So after drawing the heart at the bottom, you will be drawing the diaphragm. It's literally an arc. So to draw the arc, uh, you can use your compass with larger radius. If you use a smaller radius, it will become a circle and it won't look good. So after that, you'll be drawing the left lung. It will give the complete view of the lung, but the sectional view will be on the right side. Sectional view of the lung is the part which contains the small details or parts of the lungs. So now. Uh, same the outline should be drawn first then the pleural membranes of the lung should be drawn inside them it goes like this so that we should be drawing the bronchioles for which has the alveoli so guys this is also very easy but many of us feel difficult because it will be so detailed but you don't need to draw so much of uh, in detail uh, you just think that you're drawing some plants and trees and just draw them and you'll be done with the bronchioles and alveoli so as you can see i'm just drawing them in the shape of uh, plants after that uh, now i am done with the bronchioles and alveoli now to draw the cut end of rib just draw small small circles on either side of the lungs and then join them with the curves like i am doing with double curves like two lines of the curve should be there one on the top and one at the bottom now after doing got this on both the sides of the lungs uh, the cut end of the rib is done so now for uh, naming the uh, diagram you just take your scale and point the parts properly and start naming them and guys i'm sure that you'll be allotted full marks if you draw this diagram in this way and and if you feel this video is useful do share it with your friends and like share comment and do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye bye